All right, everybody, this is Mark Wyndham from Wyndham Blades. I just wanted to show you uh, something that saved me a lot of money and um, a lot of time after the initial investment. But um, if you're a, a knife maker, you know what this is. This is an Arbor Press and, um, you know, places like uh, USA Knife Maker or Knife Kits sell these items to help you do your rivets into some Kydex like this, okay? And um, because, you know, most of us, when we get into it, we're, we're going really cheap. And um, what we ended up purchasing are, are like what Knife Kits calls the, um, the Journeyman, which is a set of dies and um, a guide is what this is here. And they sell those separately. So the, um, the guide, which is this kind of U-shaped piece, and then this little item here plus what you see right here, uh, it sells for like 25 bucks, and then this sells for, I think, for $15, okay? It works great, all right? And, and what you gotta do is, you know, you take the, the bottom die, and you put the rivets in there like this, and then you put this other piece on, and you, you whack it with a hammer. And it does real good, uh, especially after you've um, had a bit of practice with it, you know, you can get to where um, you do it real well. You know, at first I didn't hit them hard enough, and then the, the rivets were loose. You could feel them kind of wobbling in there. And then um, then I was like, well, I'm going to hit them a little harder, and then I hit them harder, and it kind of messed up on the finish side, you know, kind of mashed them in. So I was kind of doing some um, YouTube watching and um, some thinking about buying one of these. Now, if you buy one of these from Knife Kits or USA Knife Maker, they're going to run you like 75, 80 bucks. Plus, you're going to pay shipping on it. And uh, and the the, the uh, what do you call these dies? I guess the German dies don't fit it. Okay, so then you have to buy the um, we call them the Master Series, the Master Series dies, which are 35 dollars. So really, you're going to be out. A you know at least a hundred dollars to get you a press like this. Well, um, I wanted to upgrade, but I was too cheap. So what I did is I bought the Harbor Freight Arbor Press and um, used the twenty percent coupon off, obviously. And I got the bigger one because there are some other things I want to do with it. Um, I also make coin rings and things. I can use it to uh, to size the rings and whatnot. So I got the bigger one, but you can get the smaller one. But I bought the bigger one, and I paid twenty. Uh, no, not twenty. I paid a little under forty dollars for this for the a two ton. Uh, no, one ton, one ton press. I think they have a half ton there they carry also. And um, so, all I did was I took the ram here and drilled a hole in the bottom of the ram to fit my journeyman. I guess you want to call this the male end of the die set. All right, so I took the ram and drilled a hole up under here and then drilled a hole on the side. I think you can see that. Yeah, you can see that right there. And um, so that's just like a set screw so you can hold this piece in. Now, you could do it either way. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to put the male end down here and the up here, that you know, the uh, female end up here, that would be uh, okay too. But this is kind of the way I was used to looking at them you know, using the, the previous guide. But anyway, so I drilled a hole there, put the um, put the ram up in there, put a set screw, and you just tied it up. Now, I took USA Knife Maker, I think it might have been Knife Kit. There was a, uh, what do you call it, a, um, a pin here in the bottom that keeps it, you know, nice and lined up, and I got it really close. It'd do a great job, all right? It would do a really good job. Um, it was close enough, but it made me feel a little uncomfortable that I was going to be, uh, you know, possibly crimping the end. So I went ahead and took that indexing pin out, and so um, that way you could move this around and line it up as, as good as you, or as best possible. So, so I also took, as you can see, I took the, uh, drilled a hole into this plate so that I could set the female end into it. All right, so to line it up, it's really pretty simple. All you gotta do is pull this down here until it sits straight on top of it, like so. 
All right. I'm going to push that back just a little bit. Shoot. All right. So I'm just going to press a few of them as you can see. So I got this uh, Kydex sheath here, or not sheath, but just some scraps that I had. You can see I don't have them rolled. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. You just line them up on there. Set them down on the bottom die. Put it on, and you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. You just push it down just like that. Boom. That's all it takes. And I'll show you this one. Okay, as you can see, and yeah, you can kind of see that, I guess. Let me see if I can focus in there a little better. Okay, perfect. That's the one here on the far side that I did. And the back side, nice and clean. I'll do another one. Now you can adjust this ram here. You can adjust this to the arm to be a little more positioned correctly, but like I said, I don't worry about it a whole lot because it really doesn't take any force at all to do it. Okay, so again, just press. Again. Perfectly rolled, nice and flat, good and tight. And one last one I'll show you. Okay, line it up, press it down. That's all there is to it. So you can see, hopefully, I'll bring that in. Sorry, I use my camera. I don't have a fancy, um, a fancy camera. I'm using my phone. Okay, and there's the finish side, and you can see that none of them are are cramped or or messed up or anything like that so anyway I hope this tip helps again I already had the dies so I didn't need to buy any, anything new um, so instead of buying $35 I didn't have to do that instead of buying a $75 press I got the one for $40 with the 20% off coupon took a little bit of time to drill two holes in the in the RAM and one in the plate and, you know, now I've got to save myself $100. And it's got more clearance room than the journeyman does. So anyway, knife maker tip. Because just like me, I'm sure all of you guys would really like to, uh, you know, save, save money instead of spending it. Or make money instead of spending it. So anyway, I hope this helps. This is Mark Wyndham from Wyndham Blades.